Hey guys, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a gorgeous DIY at home gel polish manicure that looks like you came fresh from the salon. So keep watching. Okay, so here are the items you will need. You will need a lamp to cure your polish. I'm using the Madam Glam lamp and you will need a base coat and top coat. I'm using the no wipe top coat. I do prefer that. It's super shiny. It works great and you don't have to worry about that tacky layer. And then you want to pick the color of your choice. I'm using this gorgeous purple. It's called Girl Power and it's what I'm also wearing on my right hand. You're also going to need uh, some paper towels, a file, and a type of cuticle pusher. I just have an orange wood stick here. Um, you can get all these items at your local drugstore. And to finish off, you're definitely going to need some cuticle oil. Don't skip your cuticle oil, girls. This is very important. Um, these are three of my favorites here. Um, you can get the Cuccio. This is milk and honey. It smells so good. Um, you can pick these up online at Amazon. And I also have a bottle of jojoba oil. And this is some of the best stuff you can use for your skin and nails. I love jojoba oil. What you want to look for is the organic cold pressed jojoba oil. And I think I got this bottle for around $20 off of Amazon. And I'm not even halfway through it. It's lasted me over a year. So a little bit goes a long way, but this stuff is the best. And you also will need some isopropyl alcohol, either 99% or 70%, I believe. And you can put it in a little spray bottle like I did here, or you can use it right out of the container it comes in. So first things first, make sure that you remove all your previous polish, if you have any on your nails, and then go in with your orange wood stick or cuticle pusher and push back those cuticles. Remove any of the dead cuticle on the nail plate do this gently and after that you can go in and shape your free edge I've already got mine shaped up pretty much the way I want it because um, I just removed some stuff off of my nails and then I like to also take the file and use that to go right around that cuticle area and scrape off any of the remaining dead skin that may be left on the nail plate and then I take the file and lightly buff over the entire nail. You want to do this gently, but you do want to remove the natural shine from your nail. This will ensure that the polish is going to stick well and give you a nice long lasting manicure. Then just take a little duster brush or a paper towel and clean up the dust. And then at that point, I like to go in with my alcohol, um, give it a quick spray, and wipe over with a paper towel to remove the remainder of the dust. And the alcohol is also going to remove any oils that may be left on the nail plate. Make sure that's completely dry before you go in with your next step. Now it is time for a base coat. And your base coat is pretty thin, um, so you want to do all of your layers in thin layers. You don't want to flood your cuticle or your sidewalls. So go in with a nice thin layer, being careful not to get it on the skin. Go from cuticle to free edge, get the sides, and make sure you cap the tip. If you do get any on the skin, just take that orange wood stick and clean it up. and then you're ready to go into the lamp for 30 seconds. Now it's time for the gorgeous color that I'm sure you have picked. I love this purple so much. It's so bright and so vibrant. Um, again, you're gonna go in with a really thin layer. Go from cuticle to free edge, being as careful as you can not to get it on the skin. If you do, just clean it up. And again, cap the tip. Cure that for another 30 seconds and you go in with your second coat. Again, another thin layer and on my skin <laughs> it went, but that's okay. Just clean that up 
and continue on. Um, I do like to cap the free edge on all of my layers. Uh, you don't have to if you feel like it's going to be a little bit too bulky. You can skip that on the color layers, but don't skip it on your top coat and base coat. So, but I do cap the tip on all my layers and I find that it doesn't make it too bulky and it is perfect and lasts a lot longer that way. Now it's time for your top coat. Your nails will be sticky after each layer, that is okay. That is your inhibition layer or your tacky layer. You just go right in with your next layer of gel polish and you don't need to remove that tacky layer. If you're using a top coat that does have a tacky layer after you're done curing, you can remove that. But this again is the no wipe top coat. So once it's cured, it's good to go. Now a couple tips for you guys. You wanna wait a couple minutes for your nails to cool down once you take them out of the light before you put your cuticle oil on. This will uh, ensure that the nail stays shiny. Um, if you put your oil on and your nails are still hot, it could dull the shine of your top coat. So give that a really good rub in and your gel manicure is all done. And before you take your gorgeous Instagram pictures, a little tip here, grab you a, a dry paper towel and wipe over the nail and buff it to till it squeaks. You'll get a little squeaky sound and then that will make it super, super shiny. I'm gonna show you right here. Just buff off that oil. Look how shiny that is. And I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side comparison here on these two nails. You'll see the one that's been wiped and the one that hasn't. kind of looks like it's got fingerprints on it. So just do that with all the nails. And then you're ready to take your gorgeous pictures. There we go, guys. Now just grab that bottle and pose away. <laughs> Um, if you do your own at home gel polish manicure, tag me on Instagram at Ginger Sparks and I'd love to see your pictures. That is all for this video guys. I hope it was helpful. Um, it's super easy to get a professional looking gel polish manicure at home with Madame Glam products. They are so fabulous and I hope you guys try it out. I do have a discount code. It is linked below and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Yes, I know I'm crazy, crazy about you.